So, dude, where are these girls? It's been over an hour. Dude, I'm telling you, they're on their way. They either got stuck in traffic or something. They didn't bail on us, man. They are coming. Well, man, we're low on beer. We're low on weed. If they don't get here soon, I'm bailing out. Worst case scenario, I can always call your sister. Man, fuck you. Man, I'm playing, dude. They're coming, man. I'm telling you, man. Don't you know the story about this place? Hey, no, what's so special about it? A long time ago, there was a ranger named Eric Jones who lived in a log cabin in the forest with his family. The park, his job, and his family meant everything to him. Then one day, it all came to a tragic end. So it happened. On a day like this, there was a group of kids out in the woods smoking, drinking, and probably having sex. You know, the shit you see all the time in horror movies. Well, while they were acting crazy around a campsite, they accidentally started a fire that spread through the forest like crazy. I remember hearing about that fire. In an attempt to save his family, Ranger Jones witnessed his wife and son burned alive. All he could do was watch as the fire slowly consumed his family and the forest he loved burned around him. He suffered third degree burns all over his body. They say witnessing his family's death made him snap. On the anniversary of the day the fire destroyed everything he loved, he went on a killing spree, killing college and high school kids enjoying spring break. They say he's still out here trying to avenge the death of his family and the forest he dedicated his life to protecting. They say he likes to strike his unsuspecting victims on days like this. Man, fuck that shit. Dude, what are you doing? I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. It was just a story. <laughs> you put that on your tombstone, buddy. Okay, man, leave me here with the chicks, man. And I'm gonna call your sister. God damn. I, damn it, I gotta take a shit. Fuck. <sighs> shit, fucking lights. Oh, hell yeah. Occupied. Very funny, asshole. What the fuck? Jimmy, is that you? I see you with that goofy ass hat on. You made me come out of here. I'm gonna kick your ass. Shit. Jimmy, I swear to God. Fuck you, what the fuck? No! No! Hey man, what's up, dude? I mean, you missing a killer party, man. It's bumping. Drew's sister's dancing on the table. Man, it's crazy. Drew left, man. He's a punk, man. He got scared, but uh, y'all should come down here and chill, hang out. Just uh, call me back when you can, bro. Later. Man, fuck this shit. <laughs> Where the fuck did you come from? All right, guys, we're here and we're ready to party. Considering how late we are, they're probably passed out from all that drinking. You know, it's not our fault that we got lost and stuck in traffic. I know, let's not dwell on that. We're here now. Well, hopefully they're going to help us with the keg. That thing is so heavy. I'm sure they will. Let's leave it here for now. What are you doing? Calling the guys. Let them know we're here. <laughs> Good luck with that. You're not going to get any service out here. Well, do you know where the campsite is? Yeah. Lead the way. Okay, come on. Let's go over here. Oh my gosh, I have needed this week so bad. After the week I've had, I just need to let loose. Oh, you just want to hang out with Drew. Well, yeah, he's so hot. And his friends. Is he cute? Yeah. Good.
Hey, asshole. Yeah, you. I didn't do anything. That's what they all say. Drop the knife. Get on the ground. So, how many times is this? Are you really gonna smoke that? Is this bothering you? You know, they say secondhand smoke is bad for your health. Hmm. I don't even know why I put up with this girl. You put up with me because you love me. Yeah, you tell yourself that. Man, you need to make sure you hold on to her. She's my kind of girl. You should try to get yourself one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon, it's your move. All right, um, you know what? I fold. Looks like it's just you and me. You think you can handle it? Bring it. I don't think you can handle it. <laughs> I've been your partner for what, like four years now? Mm -hmm. I think I can handle anything. Okay, because I'm not the kind of girl to back down. Okay. It's your go. All right. Raise you. Damn it. <laughs> Looks like I win. What'd you have? I had a pair of twos. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ridiculous. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my goodness. A pair of twos. Only you are crazy enough to bluff with a pair of twos. Sometimes in life you just have to take risks. Yeah, well, if you ask me, I think you take too many. <laughs> they always pay off. Life's too short for you to sit around and overanalyze everything. Anyways, good game, guys. I agree. Good game, everybody. Good game, but I'm never going to live this down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, played like a vet. Thank you. Stick with me. I'm going places. Is that so? It's been years since the grisly murders that left five people dead in our community. Today, our greatest fears have been realized. Police have discovered the mutilated bodies of four teenagers while undergoing a routine search of the park. The investigation is still ongoing, and the killer is still on the loose. It's probably just a copycat. You know, tonight was a really good night. I didn't lose too much money, so that was good. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to bed. Okay, I'll, I'll be up there in a minute. Okay. Peter! Peter, where are you? Boo! Ah! <laughs> that was too easy. You were such an asshole. You can forget about getting any. It was just a joke. Don't be like that. You were such a jerk. You know I hate to be scared. I know. I'm sorry. You forgive me? You know you're beautiful when you're angry, right? Is that so? <laughs> Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Damn! Messing up my game. I know I heard that. Where are David and Brittany? I don't know. I guess we should go check on them. It'll be okay. Brandon, did you remember to set the alarm? I know you can hear me. It's only midnight. There's no way you're already that asleep. <laughs> What's wrong? N nothing. Oh, you were screaming. What happened? I just had a really bad dream. Oh, it must have been some kind of dream. Do you want to talk about it? No, Let's just go back to sleep.
Hey, how are you doing? According to this, they've confirmed that the ranger committed those murders. Why are you reading this? It also says they're putting together a police task force to deal with the situation. I'd be willing to bet anything that Jennings is in charge of it. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why? It's just that ever since you heard that the ranger might be involved in this, you've been a little bit on edge. Of course I'm a little on edge. He killed my friends. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's all right. Um, I'm going to go to work. I'll talk to you later, okay? Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, or how hard you work out, you can't change the fact that you're a coward. <laughs> this is impossible. I mean... No matter how hard you work out, or how many criminals you've arrested, you can't change what you've done. Stay the hell away from me. Having trouble handling the truth, huh? Back off! Coward! Oh. First you come to work late, now you're sleeping on the job, you have split ends, and you're paler than normal? It must be Monday. You know, that was a joke, something that you tell all the time, except mine are actually funny. I'm not in the joking mood. Chief. Yeah, Helen. I need to talk to you. Let me guess. It's about the request you made. Yes. I'm going to tell you like I told Brian. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be a part of this assignment. What do you mean it's not a good idea? If not the best, then I'm one of the best that you have working on the force. You're an excellent detective. No one's disputing that. <laughs> then put me on the task force. I can't. I can handle this. Are you sure? Yes. What the ranger did to you and your friend was horrible. I don't think it's a good idea for you to face him. Please, Jennings. This is so important to me, and I'm asking you as my friend to please do this for me. I promise I'm not going to make it personal, and I'm going to be completely professional about it. I've never asked you for a favor, but I am asking you to do this for me. I promise that you can trust me. Promise me you won't make this personal. I promise. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Helen, don't you make me regret this. I won't. God, I hope not. You know, it's not such a good idea to leave your doors unlocked. Especially in this part of town. Shit happens. How come you haven't responded to my phone call? I didn't want to. Just like that? I didn't want to, man. So this is your plan? You just gonna sit here and rot? Something like that. If that's the case, I should've just left you in jail. Maybe you should have. You don't believe that. I know why you're here. And you already know my answer. In order for this assignment to be successful, you have to be a part of it. I need you on this one. Look, I know you're beating yourself up over what happened with that hostage situation. But if you ask me, you made the right call. More people could have died. Well, I know a judge who thinks differently. Uh, I can't say I disagree with him. The team I already assembled is pretty impressive. Especially this one girl named Helen Stacy. In fact, she reminds me of you. The two of you working together, this ranger son of a bitch don't stand a chance. I believe you know the way out. Fine, have it your way. You know, this whole loner act thing you got going here is so old and cliche. Clean yourself up, Lieutenant. You have a job to do. I remember when that used to mean something to you. You might.
might want to take it easy with that shot, Corn Sweat. You got a big day tomorrow. You're no fun. I still can't believe you made the task force. I know. Capturing the Rangers should prove to be a fun challenge. And if anybody can do it, you can. Thanks for your vote of confidence, Travis. No problem. I have a feeling this is going to be another great accomplishment to your already established career. I know. I could use another medal for my collections. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but be careful out there. Watch your back. How sweet. I didn't know you cared. The last thing I want is to have to get a new partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Well, I'm going to get another drink and call it a night. You want one? No, I'm good, but <clears throat> shots on me. Thank you. There is one thing I need to tell you. What? Lavender, your lavender, is assigned to the same task force you are. Good for him. And based on you two's history, this is going to prove to be one interesting assignment. The past is the past. You don't have to worry about all emotions popping up. I mean, I'm going to do my job. Like I always do. Now excuse me, I have a killer to catch. We're gonna be heading out soon. I don't know how long this assignment will take. Hopefully not that long. I'll talk to you later. I love you too. Jamie! Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So, how did you get this assignment? I actually volunteered for this one. Really? Yeah, you remember that professor that got me into the academy? Mr. Reed? I remember him. Well, one of his assignments before he became a professor was bringing in Ranger Jones when he first struck. It was the one case he never solved. He was always bothered by it. <laughs> you know how he hated leaving things unfinished. I remember. Mr. Reed died a year ago, and... Bringing in Ranger Jones is my way of honoring him. What about you? You know me and my crazy sense of adventure. When they offered me the job, I couldn't turn it down. <laughs> Still going for lieutenant. Of course. I've actually heard about your accomplishments. Congratulations. It looks like you finally got the career you've always wanted. Thank you. It's really nice to see you again. And I'm really glad you're doing so well for yourself. Same to you. Let's get out of here. We can catch up on the way. Okay. The media is really making a big deal about these ranger murders. I know, it's disgusting. I mean, they're just exploiting it, and you know they don't even give a damn about the friends and the family of the victims. Speaking of the ranger murders, how did you manage to get on the task force? Think you'd be able to handle without me for a few days? I don't think you can do this assignment without me. You're probably right, but I think I'll be able to manage. I'm, I'm sure you will, Helen, but I, this assignment is not like any other. You sound worried. I'm not worried. I just want you to understand, this is not your average killer. He's managed to avoid capture, stay hidden all these years. He may be deranged, but he's very clever. The point's to be just as clever. I mean, he's just some guy that's seen one too many horror films. All I'm saying is, don't underestimate him. Point made. How does Brandon feel about this? This is just a normal assignment. Nothing more, nothing less. If you say so, but I'm not the one you have to convince. Whatever. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this. What's done is done. I need to get ready for my assignment. No, no, I'm not going to let you blow me off that easily, Helen. I'm not blowing you off. Yes, you are. Now tell me why this assignment is so important to you. The killer needs to be stopped, and that's that. No, it's more than that. Just, just leave it alone. Helen, don't do this to me. I need to know why the woman I love feels so compelled to do this. You are being so overly dramatic. I'm not being overdramatic. Just tell me what's going on. Well, you know the Ranger's first victims were my friends. Including your boyfriend, Peter. Yes, and there's things about how I was able to escape that night that I never told anyone. What do you mean? When you told me that Peter hid you in the bushes while the ranger chased after him, and then when the coast was clear, you got in your car and drove off. That, that's not exactly true. What happened? 
Helen, you know you can tell me anything. So now you know how Peter really died, and how I really escaped. I didn't hide in the bushes. I, I ran away like a scared little girl and left him there to die. All I could think about was getting away from him. My fear got the best of me and Peter paid the price. So sorry. Now you understand why I have to do this. This can't be about revenge. It's not about revenge. This is about me doing the right thing and facing my fear. The whole reason that I became a police officer is so that I wouldn't be afraid anymore. I understand. Helen will be a part of this mission, and due to her personal past history with the Ranger, I just wanted to talk to you about it first. You are here because you're the best of the best. And as you know, the Ranger has resurfaced himself after 10 years. He has already killed four innocent people, and if history repeats itself, he will strike again before disappearing. Your mission is to go out in the forest and capture him before he gets a chance to disappear again. I still don't understand how we're going to catch him. We will have three teams that will go out into the forest and search for the killer. Each team will have a leader who knows his way around the forest well. I have a list of places a ranger may be hiding. You will investigate those places. Agent Loomis here is your new team leader. Don't worry. I know my way around the forest pretty well. I promise not to get you guys lost. And if we have time, we'll even roast marshmallows. <laughs> Don't believe this. What the hell is he doing here? Relax, Lavender and Corn Sweat. Huntley will be a part of this mission. You're joking, right? Does it look like I'm joking? I didn't think so. Any questions? Oh, uh, sorry I'm late. Now that we're clear that nothing about this mission is a joke, we can proceed. I don't know how you got back on this force, but I do know one thing. You disobeyed a direct order that resulted in the killing of a civilian and a police officer. As far as I'm concerned, you don't deserve to be a part of this team. You were lucky with the sentence you received. Well, it's nice to meet you too. Who was that smart ass? Lavender. She isn't worth it. You're right. I have bigger fish to fry. My advice to you is to stay out of our way. Hey, what are you doing here? Just want to see you off before your assignment. Are you getting all emotional? I'm not getting emotional. Okay. Although I do wish I was joining you on this one. I know. It's going to be really weird not having you there with me. Yes. But I just want you to remember what I said. I will. I'm going to be fine. Okay. All right. See you later. Look at you getting emotional. I am not. Shut this. up. <laughs> Listen up, everyone.
You are all chosen for this assignment because you represent the best. We all know why we're here and what we have to do. So let's go out and grab the son of a bitch. Don't take this the wrong way, but you don't want to be friends with me. I'm not exactly a good luck charm. I was just making conversation. I see what you're trying to do. Just avoid talking to me like the others, all right? If that's the way that you want it, then fine. Good. Lavender? Yes, sir. Up ahead are two possible locations where the ranger could be. In order to save time, I suggest you take corn sweat and check out the first area. If you happen to spot him, call us on your radio. If not, just stay on the trail. It'll lead you to a campsite and we'll meet you there. Yes, sir. Corn sweat, I guess you're with me. Yes, hey, uh, you two be careful. And do not engage him unless you have to. Understood, sir. Looks like you two are with me. Permission to speak freely, sir? Permission granted. I don't think that it's such a good idea for us to split up. Actually, I have to agree with her, sir. You might as well just put a red shirt on them. Normally, I would agree with you. But time's not on our side today. It's taken longer than expected just to get this far. Don't worry. The trail they're on just leads to a campsite where we'll meet up with them later. Those two are perfectly capable of defending themselves. They'll be fine. Understood, sir. Hey, why don't we take a break? <laughs> don't tell me you're tired. It's just a little break. All right, a little break doesn't sound too bad. Who was that you were talking to on the phone earlier? The missus? Oh, um, well, you know, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? I never thought you'd settle down so soon. When we were back at the academy, if you would have told me I'd be married this soon, I would have laughed. Yeah. It's, congrats then, you know, on balancing a career, love life. It definitely was not easy, but thank you. That was her on the phone wishing me luck on this assignment. I could tell she was worried. Well, it's natural to worry about someone you care about, especially if they're in a line of work we're in. What about you? You seeing someone? It's nothing serious. Look, I know your career means everything to you, but you cannot ignore the finer things in life. You don't want to live life with regrets, especially when it comes to love. Thanks for that advice. I'll keep that in mind. Not a problem. So, can you believe we're hunting down a celebrity? A celebrity? Yeah, I've arrested anyone famous before. No, this is definitely my first time going after anyone with a crazy gimmick. Did you hear something? Yeah. Cover me.
Lavender, this is Helen. Please come in. I repeat, Lavender, this is Helen. Please respond. Nothing, sir. What about corn sweat? Same as Lavender. Anything interfering with their transmission? Or they could be in trouble. We better check it out. My God. Guys, I'm gonna need a minute. You two stay here. I knew it was a bad idea to split up. Is that all you have to say? We both know it's true. But you don't have to rub it in. I'm not trying to rub it in. I'm just stating the fact. Two people were just killed. I mean, show them some respect. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just... Uh, just believe whatever you want. God, I need a drink. Why are you always drinking? What? So you think I'm going to win Employee of the Month? You are so dramatic. Yeah. I own my own clothing line, too. You should check it out. You know, this whole bitter at the world thing that you have going on is really getting old. Why do you care? Because you may find this hard to believe, but I actually admire you. And despite what happened with that tragic hostage situation, I think that you made the right decision. Yeah, tell that to the dead. Like I said, it was tragic. Now, I understand what guilt can drive a person to do. Oh, is that so? That's why I'm here. To make up for my past mistakes. Well, you see, some mistakes are a little harder to make up than others. But that doesn't mean that you can't make up for them. Whatever you say. You know, ever since I first met you, I sensed hostility towards me. Oh, good work, Sherlock. What is your problem with Listen, me? Listen, I don't have a problem with you, okay? <laughs> well, you sure have a funny way of showing it. Just believe whatever you want, sweetheart. Like I said before, I understand what guilt can drive a person to do. Guilt? That civilian that was killed. The one that you disobeyed a direct order for. She was someone close to you, wasn't she? Leave me alone. Huntley, I'm sorry for your loss. I understand what it's like to lose someone that's close to you. Obviously, you didn't mean for things to go down the way that they did. And the guilt, it must have been unbearable. I said, leave me alone. Drinking your sorrows away isn't the way for you to deal with your guilt. You know what? I used to be a lot like you. Always speaking my mind. Never knowing quite when to shut up. Always quick to make decisions. Not really thinking about the consequences until later. Well, what happened? Well, I took a lot of chances and risk until my luck ran out. Two people died because of it. So you see, I have to live with that every fucking day. So my advice to you is to look before you leap. And don't always be so quick to play your hand. You got that? I got it. Good. I recommend we head back. No, the ranger left a fresh trail and we can still track him down. We underestimated the ranger and now two people have died for you. So what are you saying? We should just accept it and call it a day? Yeah, something like that. Well, I'm not willing to do that. I believe you're letting your personal feelings cloud your judgment, sir. I will not have my judgment questioned by someone who can't follow orders. If you want to head back, go ahead. I'm going after the son of a bitch. I'm with you, sir. What about you, Huntley? I'm glad we're having this nice little get-together touching moment here. But, uh, yeah, no, I still think it's a bad idea. Well, no one's stopping you from running away. Oh, I'm not gonna run. I'm just stating my objection. Your objection's noted. Let's go. Hurry up, you two. We're getting closer to him. I can feel it.
say drinking's bad for you. done my love you've done great work today but I don't understand why you brought her back alive she's an outsider and outsiders are responsible for the death of our daughter and for everything that's happened to you kill her now if not for yourself but for everything that we've lost including our child kill her now Surprise. I thought you were dead. Yeah. He stabbed me in the flask. Sounds like he made it personal. No, that was my favorite fucking flask. Only look out! Ah! He Helen! 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 Stay with me! I didn't run. What? No! No, Helen! Today we pay respects to fallen comrades and friends who have died in the line of duty. Helen Stacy was an extraordinary person. For every life she saved and every criminal she put behind bars is a testament to her legacy. She made the streets a safer place for us all. Not only was she a damn good officer, but a kind soul that will be truly missed. She touched the lives of so many people, and in the end, that's the best gift a person can give. May she rest in peace. Mr. Ballard. Yes. Hi, my name's Huntley Decker. Huntley, I know who you are. I don't know what to say. I mean, Helen was a remarkable woman. She died saving my life. Helen was that type of woman. No, but it should have been me. Look, she did what she thought she had to do. Well, that's what I was going to tell you. She said something before she died. She said, I, I didn't run. I don't know what that means, or I don't know if you do, but it, it, it was like this peace came over her. I just thought you should know that. Take care, Mr. Ballard. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Sorry for your loss. <laughs>